Council member Paul Karetz has been a true supporter and friend of the Armenian community since his days as a West Hollywood councilman and member of the State Assembly. He has stood for truth and justice in recognizing the Armenian genocide and has always fought for the interests of our community. Council member Karetz's district runs along the city's spine in the Santa Monica Mountains and includes communities on the west side of Los Angeles from Hollywood to Bel Air, as well as communities in the San Fernando Valley. Please give a warm welcome to Council Member Paul Kuretz. Parev, my, my Armenian family. It's It's an honor every year. It's an honor every year to host this event here in my district, right near my district office. I'm so pleased to to have you all here. Uh, and as as a Jew, I feel a tremendous affinity for the Armenian people, particularly because if you talk to almost any Armenian in Los Angeles. They lost family members in the Armenian Genocide. If you talk to almost any Jew in Los Angeles, they lost family members in the Holocaust. But you know what? We're still here. They tried to kill our two peoples, but we are still here and we are thriving. Now it's Hard to believe, but I did not hear about the Holocaust until I was a teenager. It was so raw for my family that none of them ever spoke about it. And when I did hear about it, I was shocked and devastated that six million Jews had been killed. But at least I thought it was the only great genocide that had ever happened. And then I took a class at UCLA on Turkish history. And I was not only shocked to find out that there was another genocide where a million and a half Armenians had been slaughtered in just a, as terrible and brutal a way, but this class that I innocently took was taught by someone that denied the, Ar the Armenian Holocaust had ever happened. And I was not only devastated by finding out about it, but I was really angry that this one professor would try and deny such a horrible moment in human history. And then I found out that this denial is pretty widespread and that 60 years or so before the Turkish government had denied that it ever happened. And I thought, well, I have to be an activist along with the Armenian people in making sure this doesn't continue. Although I have to say, if you had told me in 1978 that 40 damn years later we're still fighting this battle, I never would have believed it. In West Hollywood, when I helped to found the city in the mid-80s, one of the first things we did was a resolution calling for the recognition of the Armenian Genocide. And I was proud to write that. When I was in the state legislature, I authored a bill that created curriculum to recognize and teach about and train teachers about the Holocaust and the Armenian Genocide and the other genocides of the 20th century. But Perhaps not surprisingly, no one put up a big fuss about teaching about the Holocaust. No one argued that other genocides didn't exist, but I got thousands of emails and letters and calls from Turks all over the world saying, why are you going to teach this? This never happened. And I even got a letter which chills me to this day from someone that worked with my late father who was a waiter, and he said he worked with him at a restaurant, and he said, your father would have been ashamed if he saw the legislation that you're sponsoring. And I wrote a letter back to him, and I said, 
You're a liar. My father never would have been so proud. And I'm proud to be an American, and I'm proud of many of the things the United States does, but the one thing I am always ashamed of is we still live a lie, and a hundred years after the Armenian Genocide, it's economically convenient, it's political, politically convenient, but that is not a good enough reason to accept a lie about the first genocide that helped to lead to all the others. It's time we recognize the Armenian Genocide. It's time the Turkish government pays reparations. I mean, it's, there's a very different, very different approach to the Holocaust and the genocide among, among Jews and among Armenians. The Jews are not so angry at, at Germany anymore because while they did something that was incredibly devastating, this generation didn't do it. And what they have done is they've recognized the Holocaust, they teach about the Holocaust, and they do whatever they can to make sure it never happens again. But the Armenian people and those of us who are supporters are still mad because they still try to pretend it never happened. It's inexcusable. We will fight with you to make sure that this, this finally happens. The city of Los Angeles is 100% behind you. Our city council is behind you. Our mayor, Eric Garcetti, is behind you. My dear colleague, Paul Krikorian, the first Armenian council member, is leading the way. And someday, and I know it's going to be in my lifetime, the U.S. government is finally going to recognize this genocide, and we're going to force Turkey to do what they should have done a hundred years ago and recognize it and try to make, make good on what they should have done many years ago. Thank you so much, and let's keep up the fight. Thank you.